Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about three mindset shifts that will get you accepted into your dream colleges. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I start, I want to let you know that I'm hosting a free live training on three strategies you must implement in chronological order to get accepted into your dream colleges whether that's an Ivy League top tier or any colleges that you want to get into. So the link to that free registration link is passionprep.com forward slash live. And we are only able to take in the first 500 attendees. So make sure you open up that Zoom link a little bit early so that you can secure your spot. So today's topic is a little special to me because mindset is something that is so important to my life. And it's something that I also teach my students how to utilize because I believe that in order for you to be successful in anything you want in life, 99% of it's not going to be mindset because if you don't believe in yourself or you don't think you're good enough or you're always stressed about you know, what could go wrong and there's a lot of negative thoughts circling around your headspace, then it's really going to be hard to put things into execution mode. And so mindset is also really important because you're all in high school right now, and high school is a really tough time because you're going through identifying yourself and you're not really sure what you like or what you don't like, what your values are. And there's also a lot of peer pressure. There's now social media pressure, and it's a really a vulnerable time for high school students. And I do think that it is tough, but I also think that it's a beautiful time for you to tap into what you're truly capable of and start off your adulthood with the right mindset because it's going to serve you down the road five years later, 10 years later, 15 years later. But if your mindset is not in a good place as a high school student, it definitely creates that domino effect into your future years, even when you get into college and into your career. So let's go to talk about three mindset shifts that I've practiced over the years that helped me get into my dream colleges like USC and Harvard and to run a really successful business helping hundreds of high school students. And it's also something that so many of my students practice, um, you know, students who went on to Stanford, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, they all come back to me telling me how much of a, you know, important role mindset played in their success in college admissions. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first one is going to be stop caring about what other people think. I know this is a really hard pill to swallow because we are just a social human beings that like to compare ourselves to others and it's just a natural way of reacting to life, I think. And I don't know if we have any parents watching this video, but as you know, even into adulthood, as you go into your 20s and 30s and 40s, and if you're in your 50s, I'm pretty sure you find yourself comparing yourself um, to your friends, to your neighbor, to your kids' parents, and you know, it's a, just the list goes on, to your colleagues. And so, you know, when I first started out on this YouTube channel, it was a long time ago, <laughs> Um, I was so scared of what other people would think about my video. Like even, I, I was thinking to a point of like, oh, like my high school friends or my college friends would see this video and they're gonna be like, what is Julie doing here? You know, um, in, it's, it's a really hard thing to do, but the reason why we need to stop caring about what other people think is because it does not serve you in a good way. And sure, you can say, oh, my classmate who gets straight A's and perfect SAT scores, he is someone that I'm going to compare myself to all the time because then um, I can try to beat him or I can try to be better than him. And that's not a good usage of using someone else because I feel like if you want to use someone else as a model or an example, it should be a, in a positive way. So for example, I have a lot of mentors that I really admire who is really you know successful. I use them in a way that's very motivating. So I'll say something like, oh, look at what he did. If that's possible for him, it's possible for me too. He is showing me what is possible. So one way to, you know, turn your comparison and, and thinking, oh my gosh, what is that person going to think about me? 
I would just shift that into, oh, I would love to be like him because he is showing me what is possible for me. And when you care a lot about what other people think, it really narrows down your potential because you try to do things that will only look cool to other people or you'll only do things that seem very prestigious to other people. But what if you're not happy inside? What if you're not excited within, within yourself? And so we always need to make decisions based on what we want to do, what feels good to us, not what it's going to look to other people, because that's when you know that there is a lack of integrity within yourself. Uh, we have to respect ourselves first before we go out into the world and talk to anybody. So um, that's another thing. And as you know, I am an expert in creating and helping students um, brainstorm and execute their passion projects. And a lot of my students who join my program, they tell me like, oh, Julie, it was really hard for me to start one because I was so scared of what other people were going to say about it. And that's the first thing that we talk about, which is who cares what other people think about you. And one thing I like to say to myself all the time is people don't really care that much about you. Like they're not going to remember you for the rest of their lives. People move on with their journey, with their personal lives. They move on to college. Like no one's going to think, do you remember what he did or she did? And that was so embarrassing. Like they're not going to talk about you forever. People move on. And so I know, I know in your life, you are the main character, but in other people's lives, you're not. So what if there is a little bit of judgment or opinion from other people i don't care because that's what they're saying about me it's not affecting me in any negative way and one of the things that i try my best not to do is to not to talk bad about other people because it doesn't serve me it doesn't give me any benefit people just like gossiping and talking about other people and to me that's a little bit sad because it's just not the way that i want to use my energy i want to use my energy on things that I love, things that I'm passionate about. And for you, using your energy on, okay, what can I do to get into my dream college? What is my, what is my passion? What is my strength? What is my potential? These are the questions and the communication you should be having with your friends and family. And so um, let's stop caring about what other people think. And I know it's not going to be easy from the beginning, but it will get easier. And one day you'll find yourself thinking, I don't care what he thinks about me or what she thinks about me. The second mindset shift is letting your end goal not be your dream college, but your true passion and potential in life. And I know this is kind of weird because it's like, well, then should I not be thinking about my dream college at all? You should be. You should be visualizing it. You should be wanting it. You should be going into the website and looking into the details and getting excited about it. But I don't want your worth to be placed on where you go to college. People say, oh, if I get into Harvard, I'm going to be a changed person. I'm going to be so much more respected. I'm going to be so happy. It's like that. If this happens to me, then I'll be happy kind of thing, right? Once I lose 10 pounds, then I'll be happy. Once I get rich, then I'll be happy. And we all know that if you cannot be internally happy within yourself, then external things will never, ever change you. Um, so I see a lot of students, and it kind of makes me sad because they're like, you know, if I don't get into my dream college, if I don't get into Stanford, if I don't get into USC, then my life is going to be over. I'm not going to be worthy anymore. I'm not going to be, um, you know, I'm not going to be loved anymore. And, and you're basically putting your value and worth as a person on college. And that is insane. And, and I know why you are coming to that conclusion because I've been there too. I was like, oh my gosh, if I don't get into my dream college, my life is over. Um, so instead of focusing on, you, you, focusing on trying to find value and worth on where you go to college, because those are all impermanent things, I want you to focus on making your angle about finding your potential and your passion. And what I mean by that is, I'm not telling you to settle for less. I'm not telling you, let's not do that. Let's just be, you know, let's just be safe. I'm telling you to dream big, be daring with your life, challenge yourself, put yourself out there, but do it so that you are growing. And in return, getting into your dream college becomes the easiest byproduct. That's how I want you to think of it, okay? Because, you know, at the end of the day, I've seen a lot of students go into Ivy League schools. Like I personally, when I went to one, I was friends with, you know, engineering students at MIT and Harvard and you know, all of that. And a lot of students were going through um, depression and 
they were not happy there and you know I can't speak for everybody but I can definitely tell you that if you're not happy now you will never be happy later no matter what external circumstances present to you okay so make sure that this journey is about yourself you growing yourself you increasing your potential not the other way around the last mindset shift is to let go of things that do not support your goal by this i mean people i mean your bad habits i mean just going on tiktok and instagram and youtube all day long um, i mean procrastinating right anything that is not supporting your goal needs to be gone your high school years i mean you're just getting four years of high school but technically ninth grade you're adjusting 12th grade you're applying to college so technically you only have like one to two years to show colleges who you are this is the most important time of your life it's your only opportunity to you know discover all the things that you love and then pursue a college that's a great fit for you and so especially people i think if you're surrounded by toxic people or if you're surrounded by people who are always complaining and they're stressed and they don't care about college and they don't care about education then those are the people that you need to let go of because it does not support your end goal um any so that's why you know when i when i'm on instagram i follow a lot of people who are like daring and bold and successful and they have really good insights to share not people who are complaining about their lives all day so you do need to go through a process of elimination to make sure that you're getting rid of all the bad things out of your life so that you can only focus on your goal of getting into your dream college finding your passion and your potential that's all that's going to matter in, in these two years and um, especially like if you feel like some people are not supporting you or you feel like it's you know you're out of place for wanting to go into certain colleges and you know those are the, the people that you need to you know not hang out with anymore because then it can be a huge distraction in your in your high school years and then um i always say like i want to have a lot of uh, flow and um, input of good things so that's why I read a lot of mindset books that's why I see a lot of documentaries that's why I see a lot of motivational speakers because it just lifts me up on an energetic level and that's kind of what you want to have during this time um, I hope you enjoyed today's episode um, or this video and um, like I said in the beginning, we have a free training. Um, I'm going to talk about mindset as well in there because it's such an integral part of this process. But I'll also share some stats and numbers with you regarding college admissions journey. You can register for your free seat at passionprep.com forward slash live. Uh, we also have a one-on-one, -on -one, one-year college counseling program called Accepted Club. You can learn more about that program at passionprep.com forward slash accept the club and i would love to support you in a one-on-one -on -one setting with your college admissions journey all right i'll be back here with another video and have a great rest of your day bye